Hello and welcome to the first episode of Venture Point Weapons Showcase. Let's get started. In this episode, we're covering the first pistol, the UP9, a high capacity semi automatic pistol hailing from Sheklo, Slovakia. The UP9 is a low damage weapon, at least compared to pistols within the class. On legend difficulty, you need no more than 6 bullets to kill in close quarters, or 2 headshots, courtesy of the 4x headshot multiplier. At a distance, damage drops dramatically to a 12 shot kill or 4 headshots. The rate of fire is average. At 480 rounds per minute, this is average for the pistols, so you might find the output of automatic weapons overwhelming. The hip fire performance is adequate. At the pistol standard, as a visible, close range defense, but not the most practical way of using this weapon. Recall is low, with semi automatic fire remaining accurate out to quite some range, particularly with aiming down sight. Aim time is the quickest in the game at 180 milliseconds, and your movement is unhindered by the weapon. Magazine capacity is highest of this class. At 12 rounds with 1 in the chamber, granting you 13 rounds instead, the below time is short, thoroughly average for its class, taking 1.5 seconds to complete. You find the UP9 effective for stealth. The low recall means you can reach out across long sidelines with semi automatic fire. A high capacity with quick aim time complements fast reflexes of completing objectives undetected, and you can enhance this ability with your loadout. The suppressor is a mandatory attachment in stealth, eliminating audible and visual cues. That would do much to prevent enemies detecting the gunfire. With it, the UP9 becomes even more effective for sudden takedowns. To take advantage of the low recall and tight spread, it may be worthwhile to equip an optical sight. With the glow sight, wing sight, or mini sight being wearable optics proving the most easy to use. Such sights will grant you a better view on target, allowing you to direct your fire onto enemies more effectively than the obstructive iron sight. For your perks, entry point supports a more diverse playstyle. Instead of covering every possible tactics and loadouts for every weapon, I'll focus on a single loadout and a set of tactics particularly suited to the weapon in question. The UP9 is versatile enough to support a diverse set. Although perhaps most important are those which directly affect the speed and visibility of said weapon. Pistol mastery allows you to do a well two of the same pistol at the same time. However, if do a well is your choice, equipping one pistol cuts the reload time down by 25%, meaning you'll be able to complete swift reloads and less likely to be caught in an empty chamber. Inner pocket and hidden weapons are powerful perks that will assist your weapon's visibility in close quarters. With a brutally short detection time in entry point, enhancing your concealment can be a worthy investment. Beyond this, you can spend your remaining perk points as you please. Out of sight and quick swap are also a useful spend. Otherwise, consider your playstyle's needs. More aggressive use may benefit from steady aim, whereas the more cautious will find rewards in dexterity. The UP9 is a versatile and easy to handle pistol capable of proving competitive across a wide range of missions. Its low recall means it can be fired out to quite some range, and when paired with a suppressor, its ability to land successive silent shots is unviable. Paired with a healthy rate of fire, you won't be left too vulnerable at a close range. Unfortunately, as you might expect from such a versatile weapon, the lack of damage can mean you sometimes be left outclassed. The lower damage means that despite your ability to land shots on target, other weapons will kill more rapidly, which could leave you at a disadvantage. Still, adaptability is very useful. Overall, a strong trait to have. The times when your lack of specialization might let you down may be outweighed by other consistent performance. This Wonder 9 will help you rise up the stealth ranks. Thank you very much for watching. Join me next time when we're covering the next weapon, the S97. Until then, Farewell.